Do you stream from your PlayStation 4? Do you wish that you can use advanced overlays? Do you wish that you can use alerts? Do you wish that you can have flashy stuff everybody uses? Well, I'm gonna show you how that today you can. You do need a computer. It does not have to be a gaming computer at all. And you do not need a capture card using this method. All these things do help, but you don't need them. And I'm gonna show you how to do them right now. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna to need to get, okay, you need to download the PS4 Remote Play app. Now, what this does is it allows you to connect your computer to your PlayStation 4. So you're gonna be able to remote access your PlayStation 4 through your computer to play video games. Now, the reason why this is important is because if you're playing it on your computer, it's being captured. You have it on your computer. Now, once you have it on your computer, that's where all the fun begins. So this is a very simple process. Just, I'm gonna have a link in the description below for this exact website right here. Now, what you wanna do is you're gonna click Windows install. It works for Mac too, okay? You're gonna click to download it. So yeah, once you download it, here's the app. You're gonna open this up. Now, this is highly recommended that you have your computer and your PlayStation 4 plugged in with an ethernet cable, okay? They need to be hooked up to your router. By doing this, it's not going to use your internet connection to connect to it. It's going to use your network, which is a lot faster than your internet. The settings tab is important to pay attention to. If you have a PlayStation 4 Pro, you can go to best, which is 1080p. If you have a basic PlayStation, you can go to 720. Regardless, I recommend 720 just because if you're doing this method, the higher it is, the more strain it is on your computer. And let's be real, if you're, if you're watching this video, you probably don't have the most amazing computer in the world. So I highly recommend streaming at 720 just to get everything working with. And once you get it working solid, then you can experiment with the 1080p if you wish. Keep your frame rates at standard. You don't need to be pushing 30, uh, 60 FPS at this moment. Click OK. We're gonna hit start. First time it's gonna have you log into your PlayStation account, but for security reasons, I don't wanna share with you mine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're gonna log in and it's gonna remote access your PlayStation. So see, here you go. Now you got your PlayStation 4 on your computer. Now, you can do a lot of things with this, right? So, okay, your signal is 720p. I have it in Windows mode. I can obviously click full screen. There you go, I have my PlayStation. I can keep it in Windows mode as well. The great thing about Windows mode is it will use less resources on your computer. So if your computer isn't that great, Windows mode is good. Now the cool thing is, is you'll have your PlayStation controller hooked up to your computer, but you can still watch it on your TV and play it without any lag whatsoever. You might notice a little bit of latency that the computer is seeing versus what you see on your TV, but it is very minimal. And again, you could just watch your TV as you have your laptop or whatever computer on the side working for that. So. Now that that is running, there is this new program that came out. It's called Lightstream. This is free. Now what this does is as opposed to using OBS, it uses your web browser as OBS, if you will. Lightstream Studios. So you wanna click start streaming. It just tells it like, what are you interested in? Obviously gaming. We're gamers. All right. All right, so now, we're on this website, which is for a light stream. A link for this will be in the description below. So what this is, is it's basically, as I mentioned, it's a web browser OBS. It's gonna use far less resources on your computer and you can still do all your overlays, widgets, whatever have you. It's fantastic. It goes to Mixer, it goes to Twitch, it goes to YouTube and Facebook gaming. So whatever you need to use it for, you can. The Xbox has this integrated into its platform. If you want to know how to do that, I'll have a link to the descriptions below to a channel called Gaming Careers. He covered this for Mixer, which is fantastic, but I wanted to cover the PlayStation 4 side because PlayStation 4 brothers, we're here. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so from here, as you can see on this website, right? I have it set to 720p by 30 frames per second. Um, you do have others. I believe they're gonna unlock these later it's in the beta stage right now, but right now I would just stick with either 720, 30, or 720, 60. But for now, we're gonna leave it at 720, 30 FPS, okay? So now here is your layers, and just think of it like a cake. 
So first of all, we want to do screen share, okay? So my second screen here is where I have my PS4 remote play. So as you can see, this is sharing my screen. I, I have it in windowed mode at the moment. I can maximize it, but again, like I'll show that to you guys. If we maximize it, there you go. Now all you have is your PlayStation, right? Okay. So I'm recording this in OBS. I'm gonna make my head small just so you can see this, okay? Now we're going to add a webcam, the camera. So I use a snap camera right now. See, now you see me twice. <laughs> so we're gonna click here, I'm gonna make you a little smaller, just move you. Maybe, maybe we like that corner right there. Let's just say that's where we want me, right? Okay, so now you're here. I'm gonna add another. We can do images for, you know, they have simple overlays that you can use if you wanna use those. You can upload your own. I'm just gonna use a simple overlay that they provide just as an example. So right here, I click my snap camera. So they have this wonderful little box here. And you're gonna want the overlay above the snap camera. See, doesn't that look nice? But again, you can use whatever. Uh, this one here is for chat. And then you have your bottom text here for whatever. And then, you know, your, your browse stream, you can basically, you can make that smaller if you want. You can mess with that however you want. Use whatever overlay you want, right? That's basically how this works. Now you can add different scenes like a just chatting or whatever have you and switch between them, which is awesome. You can do this from the browser as you're playing or even you can access this through your mobile. All right guys, so when you're in here, when you click layers, you may notice that there's not a lot of, a lot of options here, but what you gotta do is you click this little down arrow right here. You're gonna hit light stream labs. Okay, and from here, you can enable uploading video clips, which is up to 200 megabits in case you want like an intro to play or anything like that when you're about to stream, okay? And in third party integration, you wanna make sure that is enabled, which includes Streamlabs, which is what I use for alerts, but you got all these and Muxy and, and more. So we're gonna close that. Now we're gonna hit add. We're gonna hit third party integration. We're going to go to Streamlabs. Again, I use Streamlabs. They have stream elements and everything. So whichever one you use, go for it. So here's Streamlabs alert. Enter a Streamlabs URL. Now, if you don't know where to get that, I'm going to show you. So you're going to log into your Streamlabs. You can log in with Mixer, Facebook Gaming. It also does other things. You got YouTube and Twitch for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do YouTube. Okay, so what's in your Streamlabs dashboard, right? Okay, you're gonna go to widgets, and in a widget, you can click your alert box. That's what we're gonna add right now, okay? Now, you got your widget URL, and this is what you're gonna copy. I'm not gonna show it to you guys, but you're gonna basically click to show it, copy it, okay? You're gonna go back to your light stream, you're gonna enter it in, and now here is my alert box, okay? I can move this wherever I want, put it right there. Now. What I'm gonna do is on my, I'm gonna do a test subscriber so you can see it. I'm gonna click that on Streamlabs. Basically look, here. I have this here on my another monitor. I'm gonna hit the test so you can see that this works, okay? So now I'm going to hit test subscriber, watch. And there you go, you have your alert. Isn't that awesome? You can also in your Streamlabs, right, you can add your chat box. I'm gonna copy. Move that over to the side there. See, we have a stream alert here. We're gonna rename this one to chat. Gonna enter our URL. And now, just like that, There we go. I'm now sharing chat on my live stream as well. So there you guys go. Now as you can see, you can now have access to your PlayStation 4 on your computer. You can use OBS or Streamlabs OBS or this new program, which is awesome, in case your computer can't handle it. So you got three options there, plenty of tutorials online. 
Um, if you would like to learn how to make amazing thumbnails from your mobile device, click on this video right here. I'll show you how. If you would like to know how to add Snapchat filters, click on this video right here. And don't forget to check out the gaming careers to set this up on your Xbox. Check out that video right there for that. You guys have a great rest of your day. I hope you guys have a great one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.